Mr. President, we started on this two weeks ago tomorrow. Two weeks ago. And we have been stalled ever since. Now, maybe today there will be a breakthrough and we'll be able to legislate. We, are, we don't have a lot of time to spend on this bill. We have so many important things to do that have been held up as a result of these scores of filibusters conducted by the Republicans, an indication of how they treat to themselves. We had amendments that their senators offered yesterday that we were willing to accept, and they refused to let us do that. But that's no, nothing unusual. We've had nominations they've held up for months that get virtually unanimous support after we go through all the time wasted in a cloture process to move through, move forward. So yesterday I announced we had a really big day yesterday legislatively. I love classic cars, um, love to watch them. We accomplished yesterday, that's what we accomplished. We voted here on a unanimous basis to establish classic car day. That was our accomplishment in this body. We're waiting around on uh, issues relating to the financial crisis, states, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, Connecticut, states all over the country, desperate for us to do something with this legislation so that the people on Wall Street can't continue to take advantage of the people of America. And we'd like to move forward and start legislating on that. It would seem after two weeks it would be a pretty good thing to do because basically during that two-week time, we've accomplished nothing, virtually nothing. So, Ms. President, I am a little frustrated, but I understand that uh, the Republicans have made a decision that they're going to be the party of no. And you would think after they established that, that would be good enough for them. But I guess they want to underscore and underline it and have a big exclamation mark so no one will ever miss the fact that the Republican Party in this Congress has been their party of no.